Hello everybody and welcome back to another new video. Today we're talking about more E3 stuff and today we're talking about Microsoft specific with their conference. And there was only a couple of things that I found really interesting about that conference. The conference itself was, was okay. Um, sadly, probably the best conference that there was because Sony isn't here this year. Yeah. They're probably saving something up, something big next year, hopefully. Please. For the love of Christ. God damn it. <laughs> but there was only like a couple of things that were interesting for me at Microsoft's conference or Xbox's conference specifically this year. The only reason why I say Microsoft is because, eh, I don't know, just Microsoft, eh, you know, you know, for what it's worth, you know, Halo, you know, you know, Halo, uh, what the fuck is it called again? The new Halo game, basically. The new Halo game, the fact that they basically announced that, yeah, we're making a new console, a new Xbox console, yay! I'm like, oh, cool. Another Xbox console I'm probably not going to get. <laughs> Another Xbox console I'm probably not going to get. Oh, well. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Halo looked cool, I guess. Uh, apparently, like, the new Xbox console is supposed to be super powerful, but then I'm like... Uh, well, prove it. Show us the fucking console. And then they didn't. They didn't fucking do it. So whatever. Uh, again, for what it's worth, Battletoads. Um, you know, I grew up playing N uh, N64 games, SNES games. Uh, it took me a, a long time to actually finally get you know a PlayStation 2 because that's just how my life was. I'm sorry, but... <clears throat> Excuse me, <laughs> but um, Battletoads kind of made me happy to see because I haven't uh, uh, I haven't played like a, like anything Battletoads related since you know since I was a kid with uh, what was it Double Dragon Double Dragon and uh, Battletoads you know you were, you were able to play with the Double Dragon characters and the, the Battletoads characters and you would you it would basically just be like a Double Dragon game you know kind of and and kind of like also like a Battletoads game as well and it was super cool you know when I was a kid and you know it was just kind of fun to see that Battletoads was at you know Xbox's conference and that Battletoads is back and they're making a new game and just I, I don't know I just think that's super cool you know I kind of miss Battletoads I kind of miss games like Battletoads and it just I just thought it was cool to see, you know, it was at, it was at Microsoft slash Xbox's biggest, you know, conference for the year, and I don't know, I liked it, fuck you. <laughs> um, <clears throat> of course, if you know me, or if you've seen any of my other channels, uh, or any of my other channels, any of my other videos, excuse me, uh, you know that I am a fan of anime and Dragon Ball. I love Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball was... Technically the first anime I ever really watched, you know, growing up as a kid, and of course now it's like my favorite anime of all time, and Dragon Ball of course is getting a new game, and it's called, uh, it was called Project Z, it was announced not too long ago, and then now we finally have a name, it's called Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, and it is a action JRPG, and... It looks really cool. And the game with the visuals and the art design and the animations of the characters and that trailer looks so, so, so good. <laughs> like, I almost kind of want to say they rival Arc System Works with Dragon Ball Fighters, but Arc System Works is an entirely different game in itself. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it's an entirely different team. It's it's an entirely different art style, but they both look really, 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 really good. And I was really excited to to see the trailer for Dragon Ball uh, uh, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. It's so weird saying Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. That's such a weird name, by the way. And uh, just uh, there was gameplay. Uh, I haven't really seen any of it like myself, besides you know people reacting to it. So I guess technically I have seen it. Fuck me. Anyways, I have seen a little bit of the gameplay. The combat is certainly interesting. It's certainly interesting in the sense that this is something entirely different than any other Dragon Ball game I've ever played, which, you know, only really stems from the Budokai series, the Tenkaichi series, uh, the Universe Universe 2, and then Fighters. So, take that as you will, but whatever. <laughs> um... You know, it's, a, it's an action JRPG, so it's going to be definitely very interesting, and I'm very interested to see what sort of content we're going to have for the game. People are saying that, oh, it's going to stop, you know, after the, the Cell Saga, and then people are saying, like, no, it's going to go all the way to the Boost Saga, blah, 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 whatever, whatever. 
I think what would be cool is that it it stops after the Boo Saga because that's Dragon Ball Z. You know that would be stupid not to you know not to go all the way to Boo Saga because people already know Dragon Ball. People have seen Dragon Ball already. Why stop at a certain point in the fucking series? It doesn't make any sense. Anyways, I think it would be cool if they you know made Dragon Ball Z Kakarot and went all the way to the Boo Saga, and then potentially with downloadable content, they can introduce Dragon Ball Super stuff. Dragon Ball Super stuff. You know, they can introduce Beerus, they can introduce Whis. You know, they could bring back, you know, characters like Android 18. Uh, 18, sad, uh, sorry. Uh, not sadly, sorry. Um, 17, that's what I meant, because, you know, eventually down the line with Dragon Ball Super, we're going to get to the Tournament of Power, we're going to have Goku back and Zamasu back. You know, and of course, if you use Zamasu, we're going to have Trunks back as well. Uh, we're going to have all the Tournament of Power characters. Like, j- excuse me. <laughs> um... Excuse me, I kind of had kind of burped there for a second, but and then Jiren, thats what I was trying to say. But I think it would be cool through downloadable content. We're going to be able to get into the whole scheme of things with Dragon Ball Super. But for now, because it is Dragon Ball Z, just go all the way to Dragon to not Dragon. Fuck, I'm stumbling all over my words. To the Boo Saga, go all the way to the Boo Saga. Just do it, 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 do it. Just don't even question it. Just do it. Just do it. What? I'm sorry. What the fuck was that? But um, other than that, there's a uh, Cyberpunk. Keanu Reeves is in Cyberpunk 2077. Uh, you probably already fucking heard. You know, this is gonna be coming out on Tuesday, most likely. Um, I wanted to get in a couple videos out on fucking Monday today, but I didn't do it. I literally said in a couple videos I recorded last night or. Uh, but I didn't get the chance to upload the other one because I was only able to get one video out, which is a review of, of Boruto. Fuck! I gotta fucking fix that, but whatever. Um, but Keanu Reeves is in Cyberpunk 2077, and I think that's super cool. I think it's super cool that Keanu Reeves is in Cyberpunk 2077, and it just makes me more excited for Cyberpunk because not only did the trailer look super awesome, but fucking Keanu Reeves, dude. It's fucking Keanu Reeves. He's in Cyberpunk. I remember. He, he shows up on screen, and I'm like, is that Keanu Reeves? The crowd is going wild, and then Keanu Reeves himself steps on stage, and I'm like, huh? This is Ken's fucking Keanu Reeves. What are you doing here? And it just, I don't know. It was super cool, and made me extremely, extremely, extremely even more excited. That's not even a coherent sentence, but it made me very, very much more excited for Cyberpunk. Uh, we got a release date, right? I don't remember when we got a release date. Um, I'll probably, you know, edit in some text, you know, if I, you know, do see that there's a release date, but, you know, currently as I'm recording this, I don't know if there is one, but maybe there is. There probably is one. No, there was one. Yeah, I remember. I just don't remember what the fucking date was. God damn it. <laughs> But yeah, that's pretty much it for me at Xbox's conference. There wasn't really anything else from my memory. There wasn't really a whole lot to me besides Dragon Ball and Cyberpunk. And then for what it's worth, Battletoads and Halo. But yeah, that's pretty much it for me from the conference. Let me know what you were really excited for at the conference for Xbox in the comments down below. But that's it for me today in this video specifically. And yeah, if you enjoyed it for whatever reason, be sure to leave a like. If you are new, subscribe for more videos just like this. I'll see you guys in the next one. A fantastic day. I'm out. Oh yeah, by the way, Borderlands 3 stuff. I completely forgot. Borderlands 3 stuff, because we saw a trailer, you know, there was DLC. I already made a video specifically talking about Borderlands 3 DLC, and I'll probably go about, go out sometime tomorrow. I want to get that out as soon as possible, but yeah, Borderlands 3 stuff, of course, if you know me. I love Borderlands. Yeah, whatever. Anyways, see you next one. I'm out.